What's up, Vapors? So, um, today we're going to review the Snow Wolf 200 with temperature control. I got this on July 23rd. It was $169.99 online. Worth every penny. Um, so I've been vaping on this since then. It's now August 7th or 8th, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk you through everything that this bad boy does. Um, so far, it has been nothing but awesome. It's There's no disappointments, no cons. One con, but I'll go over that in a second. A con that went away very quickly. So um, let's switch uh, angles and I'll go through everything with you guys. Alright, so there she is. Um, I put a case on it because of its extreme fragility. I'm extremely scared to drop this thing. It's like an iPhone. It has the same material and feel as an iPhone. The weight is, it's a little heavy, but it's not compared to your other, you know, mod, box mods that house uh, dual, dual batteries. So it's, it's okay. I take it to work. It's no big deal at all. Uh, like I said, it has dual um, 18650s. Um, Ta-da! has this cool little band that you can put on um, to make it easier for putting in and taking out the batteries. This thing's awesome. The magnet, um, which just, oops, put, stays on and it will not fall off and it comes off extremely easily. Um, Battery life so far has been amazing. I can vape with uh, two, full, two fully charged uh, batteries for about a day and a half with that, without having to change. Um, this thing it does go up to 200 watts. Now, I don't really use it at 200, but it does. And after it... After you change to 150 and up, it starts to go into pulse mode. Um, so it starts to pulse the, um, the, the, the coils, which I, I actually enjoy because, um, it doesn't get too hot and you get a lot more clouds in my opinion. Um, this thing will go down extremely low resistance wise. Um, and it also has temperature control, which is one of well, actually, the reason why this thing was so awesome and why I got it. Um, so you can switch back and forth between watts and degrees. Um, very simple. So if you click it, it'll go to sleep. Click it again, it'll wake up. It'll say Snow Wolf. Then you click it five times to unlock it. And you're ready to go. No, as, no atomizer on there right now, so it'll ch say check atomizer. Um, <clears throat> so you can tag, toggle through to watts and degrees by just pressing both these buttons at the same time. And then the Fahrenheit will start blinking, and you can change it. Um, temperature control only works if you're using nickel wire. Um, So that's just FYI on that. Um, so then if you go all the way down, you can actually go to Celsius as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I, I use Fahrenheit because I'm an American, but, but it's cool if you want to use uh, Celsius. And then if you just, you know, oh wait, let's see here. What did I do? There we go. Fahrenheit again. Um, I'm not going to be using nickel wire today. I'm going to be using some nichrome. Um, that I braided, but anyways, you can toggle through the, um, temperature on that. And then if you click it again, the little Watts will start and you can toggle through that. Just click it and it'll be in Watts mode. Um, and then if you want to switch back to temperature, you can just double click it again and boom. So we're going to be using Watts today because I don't have nickel wire, uh, built right now. Um, so let's put this thing on, um, let's see, so today I'm going to be using this, um, it's a Mutation X, uh, version 2, 
which I love. It's one of my personal favorite atomizers. Um, so I have a triple braided 26 gauge nichrome wrapped five times on this and it's, uh, it's a dual build and the clouds off this thing are awesome. So let's pop this on. It's coming in at a 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.12, it'll change as it gets hotter. Pretty cool. So let me show you guys, another cool thing is it'll ask you if it's a new atomizer or not. If you take it out a little bit, say check atomizer, screw it back on. And it'll ask you if it's a new atomizer. If it is, you press the, uh, the up. If it's not, you press the down. This is not a new atomizer, so I'm going to press no. And there we are. Um, so the, the only con, like I said earlier, is when I first got it, I noticed that this, the fire button, if I press it, Sometimes it would stay pressed and it would kind of get stuck. That went away after about a day, a day and a half. So that was that was no problem. Um, I honestly have no bad things to say about this thing. This thing is uh, it's it's awesome. Um, it can handle super sub ohm builds. The clouds off this thing are awesome. The battery life's awesome. The weight's awesome. It's convenient. You can throw in your pocket if you're going to go to work. Um, like I said, I'm gonna I'll post a video using nickel wire so I can show you. Um, I've been kind of messing around, I just have this build right now, which I love. And I can I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do a video on that too. It's a very simple build, but the clouds and the flavor are amazing. Um, so I'll do a nickel build soon and post that, and then I can show you guys um, how to use temperature control, which is awesome. And the cool thing about um, using nickel wire on this is that. If your wicks are dry, it will not fire. So you will never get a dry hit. Um, it will tell you. So that's awesome. Um, I did fool around a little bit with with the uh, with temperature control, and it's it's kind of weird. I'm still getting used to it, but um, but I do like it a lot. Um, definitely recommend this. Um, I actually just saw these on Amazon uh, about four days ago for like 120 bucks so great <laughs> just after I buy it it goes down in price but so let's see so let's let's go up to 150 so once you go up to 150 let's go to 160 see how it says P that stands for pulse so let's take it all the way up real quick just for a second I don't want to waste all my juice though but so we'll start pulsing can kind of hear it and that's that's some hardcore stuff right there that 200 but it's awesome what's uh let's let's juice this up a little bit more I'll show you how how she vapes I'll show you how she vapes at 200. All right, so I have it at 200. It's gonna be in pulse mode. I have the um, the triple braided 26 gauge nichrome on there. Uh, dual coils, five wraps each. Coming in at a 0.13 on the ohm reader and 200 watts. All right, I don't really see a need for 200 watts, but I don't know. We'll see. Jesus. Even at that hot of of a uh, of a hit, the flavor is awesome. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> flavor is awesome. The hit's awesome. It stays cool because of of that pulse mode. It doesn't get too hot. Um, get this thing. This thing's awesome. Um, you know, I've 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 tried out 
ton of box mods, and this is by far the, my favorite and the one I am an advocate for the most. So give it a shot. Try to find the best deal you can online, get it, and have fun because you can do so many awesome builds on that thing. Um, anyways, that's about it. Subscribe to the channel, like the, like the video, um, enjoy yourself.